Welcome to Royal Natal in the Northern Drakensberg. This weekend we are camping at Royal Natal at a campsite called Mahai. It took us about four hours to get here. We've just arrived midday and it's time to open a beer because it's hot. Let's put the tent up. The tent is up. Lucky it only took us 10 minutes because it's really hot right now. Um, it's about 20 past one. Now we've got to go unpack the car. Okay, mattress test. <laughs> we all good. Let's try and put it in the tent now. We need two of you on. On the way here, we stop by my parents to borrow this tent from them. So I'm very impressed with Craig and his dad for setting this thing up in like 10 minutes. So we unpack the car and I thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like inside. It's not very big. <laughs> We have a little cover at least. It's, the sun is beating down on us. It's really, really hot. I can stand up straight in here. I don't think Craig will. We put the big mattress here in the corner and then this corner we'll use for our clothes and snacks and stuff. That's it. <laughs> We've got these beach mats as our veranda. <laughs> and that's our tent. Uh, the campsite is like at the foot of all these mountains. We like literally surrounded and we can't wait to show you. We're camping this weekend with Craig's parents and his aunt and uncle. I haven't mentioned, but our site doesn't have any electricity. Which is so good. So now we're going to walk to... Cascades, which is basically a short walk from our campsite. And there's like a bunch of waterfall type Rivers. rock pools and that that you can swim in. We're going to go sit in the rocks and have a bit of a sundown. Incredible. Finally, we made it to the Cascades. It was maybe a 10 to 15 minute walk and it's a nice paved walk the whole way. It's like the shortest walk with the most reward. The Cascades are so nice. We're here for the sunset. We brought some drinks and snacks with us, so gonna be nice. About an hour here at the Cascades and there are so many people but totally worth it it's so so beautiful and the views around us is just stunning now we are gonna leave we're going back to our camp and get ready for a nice bride because it is heritage day today let's go we're on the way back to our campsite and we'll see you there we just got back to camp and we're gonna get ready for some dinner. We'll see you again in the morning. We have a big hike planned. So hopefully the weather plays along and we'll see you then. Good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. and we've been awake since 5.30. Well, Craig's been awake since five. <laughs> we got up so early because we are going to do a big hike today and 
It's a beautiful morning so far. The sun is out, so I think it's going to be very hot. So the earlier we get away, the better. Let's go. Well, it's sunscreen. Can't make that mistake again. Also, we slept okay. It was pretty cold. The cold came through like the mattress from the bottom, even though we put blankets underneath us. I feel like I actually did get enough sleep for this hike. We all in one car and we're off to the hike now. Craig's sitting in the boots. <laughs> Bring the beard, man. <laughs> yeah, I've got a pack of beard. We got to the hiking trail, it's called the Gorge Path, and we're about to go. Just ahead of us is the view of the amphitheater from the bottom. It's where the Tugela Falls are, which I think the second highest waterfall in the world. Today we are hiking with uh, my parents and my dad's brother and his wife. <laughs> Hi! <Yeah. laughs> we found this amazing forest. It's shaded and the temperature dropped and it's so nice and this is the perfect spot for breakfast. We made bacon and cheese rolls for breakfast. Bacon and cheese? <laughs> mm. that what you do? It's around half past eight. We've done just about four kilometers now. We're probably about halfway to the gorge. <laughs> we stuffed our faces. I'm still eating Kit Kat, but we're ready to move on. <laughs> We're at the front now. <laughs> You're winning. Leading the way. <laughs> Shady areas are definitely our favorites. We're about seven k's in. Most of it, I must say, has been um, relatively easy because it's a gradual incline. But this last part is pretty brutal. <laughs> I think it's because there's a bypass because one section um, was closed. So we just came down this hectic downhill, which we'll have to climb up on the way back. <laughs> but I feel like the end is in sight. I hope. <laughs> We've been saying that for the last kilometer and a half. After three hours and seven and a half k's, we have arrived at the gorge. Finally, this is our destination. I think we can still walk up a little bit, but just to be here after that hike is totally worth it. Let's go explore.
jumping. <laughs> We took a very long break here at the gorge. Craig and his dad and uncle went up further and it looked really cool but we were just so tired that we stayed behind. And now we're gonna hike back. Yeah. I'm quite tired and it's really hot. But it's it's downhill, so downhill all the way. Except the first bit's gonna be uphill. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. On our way back, but still the pools have such beautiful colours. It is stunning. It's like aquamarine or turquoise, I don't know, but it's stunning. This is where we came up just now. Now we have to go back down. We didn't realise. Look <laughs> like this at the top. So many rocks. But we'll just channel our inner mountain goats. It's really really hot. Don't know how much more we're actually going to film. We might only see you back at our campsite after we've had a shower. It's after the hike. We've both had a shower and we are broken. <laughs> Yo, that hike was it was quite hectic, so my advice is you need a little bit of fitness if you want to do that hike but it's so worth it. The views are amazing. Your kind of destination is beautiful. It was just really, really hot today. So I think that also kind of made it a really hectic hike. Like the last two Ks was the worst. <laughs> we were so over it. Everything was sore. And now we're just relaxing for the rest of the night. We're having another braai. And I think we'll take you on a tour of the facilities tomorrow morning before we go. So we'll see you again in the morning. It's our final morning in the Drakensberg. We had an amazing day yesterday with our big hike and last night we just bried and we all fell asleep early. I think we were all tired from the hike. We got up early this morning and I've taken a bit of a walk with my parents just up the hill to see the sun rise over the mountains. Just taking the beauty and it's going to be sad to leave but we had a good weekend. So before we leave, we want to take you on a tour of our family's campsite, which is right next to ours. We just had a tent, but they've got everything else we need because it's the perks of camping with family. So we got chairs, gazebos, trailer, tables, everything you need. <laughs> Here we've got the gas stove. We've got a breakfast on the go. Even a toaster. <laughs> oh wow, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing toaster. If you want a bra, yeah, take note, our bra's not looking in the best condition, but we made a plan and uh, we had a good bra. And, and wash up. So our campsite is over here and about 20 meters down the bank are the ablution blocks. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the ladies' bathroom. In here you have a bath, a with a shower head and plugs. You have four basins with mirrors and a shower with a shower cabin. Sorry. <laughs> and just oh, like 10 meters on the other side of our campsite, you can find a scullery where you can wash your dishes. And they also have a hydro boil with constant hot water for your coffee. It was very close to our campsite, but if noises irritate you, make sure you get a site that's a little bit further away because of that. <laughs> we all packed up, now we're going to have a nice cooked up breakfast before we hit the road on the long journey home. The thing about camping is a squirtle breakfast. <laughs> we have amazing scrambled egg, bacon and cheesy sausages. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around and coming on our camping trip with us. We hope you also enjoyed it. Final thoughts on the campsite itself. If you really need your electricity, make sure you book early because those sites go first. But if you are looking for a digital detox, then go for the 
non-electrical sites it was really nice to switch off we hardly had any phone signal here as well so it was pretty nice to just get away from all of that so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one you want some extra weight on there yeah to get the air out yeah i've got extra weight <laughs> i don't have puppets oh, okay. my hair okay <laughs>